Okay, uh, <laughs> rotation of axis, general form of conics. This is not in our book, but I've already uploaded the homework for you in our Canvas account under files, where I showed you at the beginning of the semester. You'll find the homework questions and you'll find the answers as well. And this says, identify, and this is the only part we're going to cover out of this section, just due to time constraint. Identify the graph of each without completing the square. Identify, just say the graph, just tell me what it is. And let's get started. If I look at the first problem, what do you think that is? Well, look, only one squared. If one squared, this will be a parabola. How about here? I see two squares. Well, if there's a minus in between, that's a hyperbola. But if there's a plus, it's either a circle or an ellipse. Since those are not equal, that indicate this is an ellipse. And how about on 16? 16, two squares, but there is a minus in between. That indicates that's a hyperbola. And how about on 18? The two squares with a negative, that indicates it's a hyperbola as well. And the very last problem, I'm glancing at that and I noticed that two squares with a plus, it's either a circle or an ellipse. Since those numbers are equal, it is a circle. And that's pretty much all that you need. The homework is number 11 through 19 again this is in canvas it's under files under the homework you have the questions and you have the answers i uploaded this for you already and this is all we're going to talk about out of this section